It looks like today is the last day weather-wise that it's going to be pretty nice and fairly dry around here. So I figured I better get these cattle moved over to the winter pasture today. I've got 20 cows that I'm going to move over to the winter pasture. That's about all that it will hold through the season. The rest of the cows are going to stay here and live at the ranch through the winter time. But regardless of which place they end up going, everybody's got to go through the chute and get their winter vaccinations. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Well, I don't think I've ever caught them that easily before. I never even had to open my mouth. So hopefully that is a trend that continues throughout the day and I didn't just use up all my good luck. Before I get them up here in the alleyway, I'm gonna get my syringe loaded up and ready to go. Today, everybody's just getting one shot of Ultrabach 8 or 8-way and then they will either go onto the trailer over to the winter pasture or they're gonna stay here. There are certain criteria that the animals have to meet to be able to go to the winter pasture and most of them are eligible to go, but some of them need to stay. The bulls need to stay here, the first calf heifers need to stay here, and then there are a couple of cows that have a reputation as being a little bit harder to handle. They've gotta stay here as well. Because the vaccination that I'm giving today is administered subcutaneously, which means it is given between the muscle and the skin as opposed to intramuscular, which is given in the muscle itself, I'm using a three quarter inch long 20 gauge needle. A little bit of air in there, not too much. Well, with that, I think we're ready to go. Are you guys ready? Well, I guess we'll start with these three. Go, go, go. 
try to grab one more here and then we should be able to make a load. Now we got our seven. Well, let's reset some gates and see if we can get them in the trailer. Yeah, you're not gonna get through that. Of all the places you might get through, that is not it. Push them! Come on! I don't know if the video is really going to show, but this group was not exactly cooperative. I mean, I, I guess most of them were. It was just one or two that didn't want to get in there, and that's all it takes to ruin the whole deal. But we got them in now, and they're really going to like where they're going. I think that's what makes me so mad, is it's like, if you guys just knew where you were going, you would gladly hop up into that trailer. Load number one. As luck would have it, these four had put themselves into the tub here. These are all cows that need to stay here. I've got two of the bulls, uh, one cow that's a little bit of a questionable attitude and then a first calf heifer. So what I think I will do is I'll run them through and then I'll put them out into the pasture to further whittle down my big group here. Come on, boy, turn around. Go on, other way. <laughs> other way, come on. Go, other way, other way. You're too gentle. Don't get me wrong, it's nice having a gentle bull, but for times like this, he's a little too gentle. Okay, come on, boy. We got seven more out in the big corral ready to go into the trailer and I got a pile of ones that are staying here done as well. So, you know, it always takes a while to kind of get into your rhythm to where things start flowing a little more smoothly. And well, you know what? I don't want to jinx it. We'll just leave it at that. Never a bad idea to check all your gates before you push cattle up here. Up. I 
knew you'd fit. Whew, they were acting like they wouldn't fit, but what happens is you get a cow in the front that doesn't move all the way up to the front, and then the ones in the back get to where it's hard for them to get in. Once they all kind of move around and find their spot, they have plenty of room in there, but sometimes just getting them all in is a little tough. You see that? There's a bunch of room up here in the front. In fact, I could get eight cows in here if they all stood in the exact perfect spot, which they never would. That's why I don't try to put eight in. I try to put seven in because I know there's more than enough room for seven. Where's your friends at? I do see the other ones there, way down there in the trees. You guys won't be able to see it on the GoPro, but it looks like they must smell them or, or see them because they're, they're heading right for them. Let's go load up our third and final load. What do you think about all this, Belly? Hmm? Whenever I'm driving around with Belly and not Callie, people always wonder where she's at. And today the family just wanted a dog to stay with them, so they chose Callie. <laughs> We're back here at the chute and the sun is out and it's warmed up a little bit. Actually turned out to be a nice day. Not like they were saying, it was supposed to be cloudy. But let's grab um, our last load is only gonna be six cows. And then the rest of these will stay here. So the group that I just did is a group that stays here. And I think there's only one cow left in here that cannot go to the winter pasture because of her bad attitude. But the rest of these can. So this will start to get a little bit easier for me. I've only got to watch out for one. And if I know her, she will be the last one that tries to come up here because she does not want to go in the chute. So I, I probably won't have to worry about her too much. Well, that was cow number six, which means we have enough for our last load. So what I'm gonna do is put these girls in the trailer and then we'll run the rest of the cows that are in the pen here through the chute so they can get their vaccination. Then I can just put all of these cattle together so that when I drop this load off at the winter pasture, I don't need to be rushing back to, to do anything here because there's a couple things that we need to look at before we leave them at the winter pasture overnight. Down to the last three, I'm sure they're gonna cooperate. No, no, no. 
And finally, we are done. Well, done with that part at least. And you found a little spot for your head. Nice. Belly is really starting to learn kind of the, the way things go around here. She's starting to develop a lot of the same habits that Callie has. One of those being when I'm in the corral working or where I, when I'm doing something that they are not allowed to be with me and do, what they are now both doing is they'll go jump in the side by side and wait for me there. Or in this case, she jumps in the truck and waits for me there. Well, it looks like everybody's reunited and yeah, these, these cows are set. Everything's looking good here. They got plenty of feed. Um, I'm not sure what the hay feeding situation is gonna be over here this year. Usually every year I, I have to feed a little bit. There's only been one year where I didn't. So we'll, we'll just kind of have to see what the weather does. But now we gotta head back to the ranch cause I still have to feed those cows and the calves are ready for a bale too. Um, but these girls are good to go.
I gotta tell you, it feels good to have this done. This is one of those big jobs that I gotta do every year and it, it does kind of loom until you have it done and then it feels really good. This year, I think, I mean, I, I had little problems like any year, but the facility was less of a problem than it has been in the past. And that's been really nice. In fact, there was a specific instance where I had a cow down here while I was loading. I'm not sure if this made it to film or not. If it did, I'll include it here. But if not, I'll just tell you what happened. There was a cow down here uh, that did not want to get in the trailer. And as she spun around, she kind of eyed up this fence here and I could tell that she wanted to try to jump it or push through it. And I think I even said out loud, like, go ahead and try, you ain't getting through that one. And that's just, that was such a good feeling because if I had not improved this area, that cow probably would have jumped and she, she would have made it with what was here before. Even on this fence here where I didn't spend a lot of money, but I, I did put a lot of work into it. I felt like this worked a lot better as well. Nobody really challenged it or I think just because it is so solid looking now that it kind of has the appearance of being strong so they don't even really think to, to try to mess with it. A couple times while loading the trailer, I had a couple cows ball up here in this funnel like they always do, but with the post being reinforced and this gate being solid and blocked off, it, it wasn't really anything to worry about. They just were able to do what they needed to do. Sometimes cows, they just take a while to process things or to think about what they're gonna do. And eventually they did go into the trailer and I think with the exception of the first load, uh, everybody loaded up pretty good, surprisingly. So all in all, today was a pretty good day. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.